Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be doing a video on my 14 inch four piston Willwood uh, brake upgrade kit from Full Tilt Boogie Racing. I've had it on the car now for a little while and um, yesterday was the first day uh, that we really got to get into the brakes and I, it's incredible. Um, if you guys are looking for a brake upgrade kit, um, this is definitely the one for you guys. Um, it's very budget oriented. And uh, Bruce later in this video is gonna be talking more of the, on the technical aspects on these brakes. Um, and then I will be doing a road testing video with him where we're really gonna do some threshold braking, really get some heat in these guys and really see how they perform. Um, but just from what I've experienced so far, um, it is just like in a different league uh, than, than those crappy stock brakes. So anyway, um, as you can see in, in some of these videos, the calipers were painted red for mine. On my car, I painted them with some high temp caliper paint. Um, so if you guys, the kit is going to come black. So if you guys want a different color, um, all you got to do is get some high temp caliper paint so you can get any, you know, red, orange, yellow, whatever color you want to do, um, you can do. It's very simple. You just tape it off and, and yeah, they look really good. So anyway, so that's, that's a little different with my kit, but the kit is going to come black. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to hand it over to Bruce and he's just going to walk you guys through just kind of the technical aspects of these brakes. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and definitely consider subscribing guys. It helps me out a lot guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. One of the biggest complaints that these uh, SN95 guys have had, co both Cobras and Mustang GTs, is um, marginal uh, braking systems. And uh, it's more for the guys uh, with the Cobras who have upgraded, you know, an additional 100 or 200 or 300 or even 400 or more horsepower. Um, they're still running around on their two piston floating PBR calipers and uh, they spent all the money making their car go fast and now they have kind of like a time bomb on their hands that they can't stop adequately. Um, and there's a reason a two piston floating you know, caliper is not as efficient as a four piston fixed caliper. Um, it's because uh, the, the, the two piston caliper, uh, when you push on the brake pedal, um, it first has to apply uh, the, the brake pad to the inside uh, portion of the caliper where the pistons are, and then it relies on the floating caliper to get pulled uh, so the other pad on the outside can get pulled into the outside of the rotor. Um, and although this does meet minimum safety standards for um, uh, the car manufacturers, um, it's just not... Uh, not the greatest um, braking system in the world. But when it comes to you know performance car, you really want a four piston fixed uh, caliper. In addition to the change in the caliper, we've gone from a 13 inch rotor to a 14 inch rotor. Uh, the downside of this for you guys with 17 inch wheels is this um, setup is not gonna fit under a 17 inch wheel, unfortunately. You're gonna have to upgrade to an 18 inch wheel. Uh, but there's lots of brakes, uh, brake kits on the market, and they are, you know, they start in the um, $1,800, $2,000, $3,000, and even $4,000. Um, and there's a lot of guys that drive Mustangs that just don't have um, the money to upgrade to these more expensive kits, which is the precise reason we developed this particular kit. Um, we feel it is a huge bang for the buck. Um, the kits are $13.95 and they are on our website currently and they are available uh, for purchase. The kit comes with everything you're going to need. Rotors, calipers, mounting hardware, brake pads, uh, caliper mounting brackets, and a stainless steel braided uh, brake line. And uh, it's really gonna make a huge difference in the way your car stops. And if you really like this brake upgrade, um, we have also a 13 inch rear 
um, brake conversion kit that changes your 11.6 diameter rotor uh, in the back and relocates the caliper to a 13 inch rotor and we had to make a custom uh, two-piece rotor for that and that rotor is actually lighter than the uh, OEM rotor so the 13 inch two-piece rotor with the aluminum hat is actually lighter than the 11.6 inch uh, rear OEM rotor and that will help step up the rear brakes so the rear brakes can kind of um, put the brake bias back where it needs to be um, on, on the vehicle like it came from the factory. We are eventually going to have some two-piece rotors for this kit. Um, the lightest rotor would be basically for straight street use. Um, obviously um, fine for drag racing at the, at the track. Um, and that rotor is going to weigh approximately 18 pounds. Um, the stock rotor, the stock 13 inch rotor weighed 19 pounds. So this is going to be a one pound weight savings. Um, that's the lightweight rotor. This, the regular um, street rotor is going to be around 19 and a half pounds, which is very close to the stock weight of the OEM 13 inch rotor. And then there's going to be a heavy duty road race rotor. And that's going to be, I think, around 21 or 21 and a half pounds. Um, they're going to come in eventually. They're going to come in two different configurations, both together, which will be a little bit uh, cheaper. Um, and then the more expensive uh, floating rotors, um, they're going to be uh, a tiny bit lighter because of the design of the hat. Um, but not, it's not going to be a, a real uh, noticeable difference. And there's going to be about a $240 difference between the bolt together rotors and the floating rotors because the floating rotors have pretty expensive attaching hardware um, attaching the rotors to the hats. This current um, setup here with the one piece rotor, that um, rotor weighs 25 pounds. So that was an increase of six pounds over your OEM 13 inch rotor. But the trade-off you're making is, is not, it's a complete no-brainer. Um, the, the braking performance on this is just um, sacrificing six pounds in a rotor rate weight is just a very minor concern. Alrighty guys, so that's kind of a little spiel on it that Bruce gave us. Um, so some really in-depth good knowledge on these brakes and kind of why you guys want to upgrade. So like I said earlier in the video, I will have a link down in the, the, the description of this video to the brakes. Um, and we will be doing a road test slash more of a review style video um, uh, coming up soon where we're really going to get some heat in, heat in these things and, and you know really, really, really go at it. So uh, definitely look out for that video that will be coming shortly. But yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down. And definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.